Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas, on Thursday, December the 20th, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, what a crazy day, to say the least. Uh, we woke up this morning believing that the White House was going to find the $5 billion somewhere else in the budget, and they were going to pay for the wall basically by looking for the money uh, in the budget that already exists rather than get into a fight uh, with the Congress over the budget funding. So we thought we were going to be operating under a continuing resolution until the first week of, of February. I even tweeted about this this morning because there were a lot of the president's supporters who thought that this was a defeat. And I said, not really, not really a defeat, because if he can find the money somewhere else in the budget and still get the funding for the wall, in 2020 he can run for re-election saying, hey, I promised the wall, I built you the wall. The real loser, I thought, today was going to be the Democrats, because by not negotiating over the border wall funding, they were giving away really a lot of the leverage uh, that they had with respect, to, uh, with respect to other things that they want to get from President Trump. Well, all of that changed, of course, uh, around noon, when a bunch of Republicans went over to the House and they persuaded the president not to sign the bill without the $5 billion. And that's kind of where we are right now. There are some technical problems that the Republicans have, and that is they're going to need 218 votes, but they may not have everybody in town because some people have apparently already left town. So that's, that's kind of a technical issue they're going to have to deal with, and that, I suppose, will depend on where, when they schedule the vote. If they schedule the vote before Friday midnight, sometime before Friday midnight, maybe they can get some of those members back in town. But I support the idea of a border wall funding. I, I think we have to have a border wall. I, I have no doubt that a wall uh, contributes to our national security. And I think more than anything else, it makes a statement that the United States is going to protect its borders and that our border has to be respected uh, on the other side. So good job for President Trump for standing up for border security. And we'll see where it goes from here. But I think a lot of Democrats uh, are now going to have to make a very tough vote. They're going to have to vote yes or no on, on border security. And I don't think many of them really want to vote on this. They love the issue in the abstract, but I'm not sure they really want to vote yes and no. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll probably have something to say about this in our next commentary. But what a crazy day. That's all I can say. What a crazy day uh, on this whole question of the border of the border wall. Thank you for watching. We have all of these on Twitter. We have them on blog and we have them on YouTube. And if this December the 20th is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.